Well, we're broadcasting from the Paddle Games here at the University of Western Sydney, and I'm very pleased to be welcome, welcoming Leonora Bifus, who is actually a student here at the university, who is taking full advantage of these Paddle Games, and she is studying science in business analytics. And yes, I did have to look at my page when I saw that, because that is not a degree that was around when I was studying. Welcome to the program, Leonora. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> so let's talk about um, why did you sign up to do the Paddle Games, uh, and what were you hoping to get out of it when you signed up? So essentially I saw this as a challenge, as a chance to kind of connect with local businesses and my university and Paddle, which is essentially a business too. And I just kind of wanted to learn more about design thinking. I wanted to experience what it's like to really overcome challenges on the day. And I think it's much of a learning curve in one day, just kind of crammed together, which is really interesting. Is it because you're being exposed to the business and their everyday thinking and, and really the, the, the difficulties they experience on a day-to-day -day level, do you think that's been the most beneficial from today's um, chats? Absolutely, yes. It's an it's, it's entire different world if you're a small business. That's what I'm feeling. That's the feel I'm getting out of this entire day. Basically, we're talking to people who are so passionate about what they're doing. It's just an entire different level of feeling that. And it's really nice to be able to help at least just a little. So you kind of hear about it in the media, don't you? You talk about small business, it's really hard, and we have cash flow problems, and we have difficulties. What have you learned today that's been different from what you hear in general about what, what, how it's difficult to run a business? I would say what you hear in the media is mostly about money struggles, but essentially those people want to get the word out about something they love doing. And for example, the company I'm working with today, if I'm allowed to say that, yeah. is Form Dance Projects. And they are doing something really great for the community of Western Sydney, but no one essentially knows about it. They know their audience, but they're not getting their message out. So it's not even about the money or about the charity part, it's about getting people engaged in what they're doing and I think that's really impressive. Do you think that that's something that you as a student and of this new generation who has tapped into so many different ways of communicating is better at doing than perhaps a small business owner who is a little bit older hasn't grown up as a digital native? Is that something that you bring to small business? I would say we're def definitely bringing a different perspective into it because there's always something you can oversee if you've worked in a certain position for a long time and then there's something just asking the very basic question so why why did you do that why even when you started out why did you do that and it makes you just kind of think all the way back and just start from the ground up and I think that's really fun. It's something that I've spoken to a couple of business owners about today is that they're actually enjoying coming out of their business and just stopping and thinking about the big picture. Do you get the impression that they don't get to do that very often in their own businesses? <laughs> Uh, absolutely. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's very time consuming to have a small business and it takes up a lot of effort. So I think it's nice to just get out of that for one day, just take a different seat basically. Would you like to see the Paddle Games, Westpac, Cosboa, people, organisations like this tap into the talent and the information that you guys have as students and do this sort of project more often? Absolutely, yes. So essentially, before the Paddle Games, I'd never heard of any organization filling that niche in between businesses, especially small businesses and their university. And I think for students who already have a very theoretical knowledge but might not have the practical part behind it, that is just kind of bridging the gap. Fantastic. Look, thank you so much for joining Small Biz Matters with Alexi Boyd, Leonora. We hope um, to see you flourish, maybe start your own business as well, and I hope that you've learned a great deal from today's experience. Thank you very much.